Well, capital needs labor infinitely more than labor needs capital. That's why you have worker cooperatives where the workers I are the I fundamentally ones disagree on the distinction between capital and labor. Capital is just a term for money. If you're talking about money, money does not grow from the ground. Money only has value because it was traded for labor at one point or the products of labor. So if I take my money and I buy machinery, I have invested my labor in doing that because I didn't get the money from nowhere. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on the new video today. We're going to be reacting to... Socialist tells Ben Shapiro workers should own the means of production. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to talk this right on Yatmo. Let's get into today's video. So let's say you own a pencil factory. I'm a worker in that pencil factory. You can have all the machinery, all you can buy all the raw materials you want, but without me and presumably many others like me to assemble the pencils, all you would have is a pile of wood, yellow paint, graphite, rubber, and aluminum. Okay. That would be worth it. So, and that is worth less than the pencil when you try and sell it. And yet all of that value added by labor, apart from the wages that you give me, which if we're being honest, there is a major power imbalance in our ability to negotiate that. Well, if, 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 all you, if all that putting the pencil together requires is basic use of your prefrontal cortex, then yes, your labor is alienable at lower rates than if you are a doctor. That's not the fault of the person who owns the machinery. But if, all, but, if the, but if you didn't have workers like me and your pencil factory and you were just one man. But I so do. I have millions of people who are willing to do that voluntarily for me. If you're just one person trying to ass like assemble pencils, you're not gonna get very far. You need workers. Capital needs labor infinitely more than labor needs capital. That's why you have worker cooperatives where the workers I are the I fundamentally disagree on the distinction between capital and labor. Capital is just a term for money. If you're talking about money, money does not grow from the ground. Money only has value because it was traded for labor at one point or the products of labor. So if I take my money and I buy machinery, I have invested my labor in doing that because I didn't get the money from nowhere. Even if I got it from my parents, my parents didn't get the money from nowhere. The people who built the machines required me to trade something of value to them in order for me to obtain the machines. Sure. The people who invented the machines required people to pay them in order to get the, the patent to that machine so they could build the machine. The, the, the problem that I'm seeing in, in what you're saying is you have still failed. If, if what you're talking about is a system of voluntarism, you still have not named any area in which we disagree, and yet you're telling me that you're a socialist and I'm a free marketer. So one of us has got this wildly wrong, and I'm pretty sure it's not me. <laughs> The differentiation I draw, and I'm not alone in this, I'm not one person trying to redefine anything, the differentiation I and many others like me draw between socialism and capitalism is that under capitalism, when you as the owner of the factory you give me a wage. The wage could be $7.25, it could be $15, it could be whatever an hour, right? right? But you, you give me a wage, all, all the additional profit above the, uh, made from selling the pencils or whatever good you produce above what is reinvested into the company ultimately goes to you or the investors, the, uh, it goes who own shares in the means of production. Right. Under socialism, those people are the workers. And the example I give, again, is cooperative enterprise. No, those are the people who are investing the risk. So if they carry the risk, then they get the benefit. The owner of the factory that carries the risk, therefore works. he gets the benefit. The workers in the company you mentioned, if that company were to go bankrupt, they would carry the risk as well as the benefit. If the company goes bankrupt, and this guy has to pay off all of his debts, the worker may lose his job, but he's not the one who's going to incur the yes. debt of having gone bankrupt. True. If you incur risk, then you are the one who pays the downside. The worker does not pay the downside. Okay, it is the investor who pays the downside, who invested in all the machinery, who sunk millions of dollars into making your labor productive. Because guess what? Your labor is without that machinery. Gunk, nothing. You don't have a pencil to put together. You don't got the wood, you don't got the, you don't got the paint, you don't got the rubber, you don't got the metal, you got nothing. Right? You're sitting there, standing outside, twiddling your thumbs. It required somebody to invest, who do you think put more in? The guy who spent millions of dollars buying all the machinery, leasing the place, making sure there was a management structure, doing the LLC formation, making sure all the tax code was in compliance, or you standing outside because you can stick a piece of graphite into a piece of wood. <laughs> now we're done. Okay, this was, this was a comeback. This was a slap, I would say it's a slap, because Ben Shapiro clears out capitalism and socialism, right? It's simple. He just made it simple. If this guy was a lecturer, like, you can't fail his course. <laughs> you definitely can't fail his course because he makes things very easy and simple for you to understand. Like, what is just here right now? Because the owner of the business bears the debt, bears the gain, bears the losses. Because if, if the owner of the company does not invest millions of dollars in the in the equipment, in the machine, you as a laborer, you can't just do your work effectively. And if anything, if the owner of the company should go in a big debt today or have bankruptcy, 
If you as a liberal, the highest thing or the worst thing that can ever happen to you is being sacked or you are going to look for a different job. So you can go to another different job that have the machinery and everything, you continue your job. But the owner of the business who went, who encountered bankruptcy, would be like his entire life is shattered. Be like, how is he going to get back the losses? How will he be able to stand up with his business again? The, the feeling is different. Owning a business and working for someone who owns a business, the feeling is totally different. The person who owns a business can have heart attack and at an instant if anything bad goes terribly wrong with his business. But the worker can just, okay, let me go to a different job. The worker can have three jobs. If anyone did not work out, it's fine. But the owner of the business can have multiple business, but one business can make him lose his life. One business can alter his full life. So you can't put like you being a worker or you being a laborer, you, are, you should earn more, you should be more respected. No, it tends to work like that. If you can be replaced, you don't have strong value in the business and your worth is down. But if you can't be replaced, your value goes up and they pay you more. So that is how the world works. You don't feel like, I feel like I should be paid more. So they will pay you more. No, it don't work like that. What is the value? What is your contribution? What is your impact in the business? If the business is to crash today, will it actually alter your life or will it do anything really terrible to you? So you have to create value in order to be paid more. So the point he was making there, it's something that everyone already know. And I love how Ben clarified this simply for us to understand and also for him to get the right scenario. They should not be feeling victim victimized or feeling like they are not paying him more or feeling like he deserves more. Whereas he's not creating more value in the market space. So that is just it. This was an amazing video and beautiful to watch. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all